<clears throat> okay, so this one's going to be a bit longer. Um, there's a bunch of ways I can approach this. I can actually do this one. So let's read the question first. So which product is equivalent to 4x squared minus 3x minus 27? So there's two ways I can do this. I mean, well, there's multiple. Um, if I look, all of my answers are in factored form, so I could factor this. Or I could box method each of these. So I'm going to actually box method each of these. So I'm going to box method this one first. So I have 2x plus 9 times 2x minus 3. Ooh, what am I doing? And I just multiply. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 9 is 18x. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. And then negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. I combine my like terms on the diagonal, and I get 4x squared. Negative 6x plus 18x is a positive 12x. And then I get my minus 27. If I look, I wanted a minus 3x. So it can't be choice 1. Now I'm going to do the box method on choice 2. So I'm going to do it on 2x minus 9 times 2x plus 3. And when I do this one, I get 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. 2x times negative 9 is negative 18x. 3 times 2x is 6x. And then 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. So now when I combine my like terms on my diagonal, I'm going to get 4x squared, negative 18x plus 6x is a minus 12x, and then I get my minus 27. So if I look, I still want a minus 3x, so it can't be choice 2. Now I'm going to do it on choice 3. So I have... 4x minus 9, I mean 4x plus 9, times x minus 3. So x times 4x is 4x squared. x times 9 is 9x. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And then negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. I combine the like terms on my diagonal, and I get 4x squared minus 3x minus 27. And if I look, that's exactly what I wanted. So my final answer is going to be choice 3. So this is one way of doing it, where I box method each of my choices. I could do it a different way. So I'm actually going to screenshot this question because I'm running out of room. So here's how I can do this question also. If I look, my first answer choice is, my f question is saying 4x squared minus 3x minus 27. I could just factor it like a tricky trinomial. So if I have 4x squared minus 3x minus 27, I could factor that. There is no GCF, so I can do a slide and divide. So 4 times negative 27 is, I have no idea, negative 108. So what I really want to factor is x squared minus 3x minus 108. And I'm going to put the 4 over here as a reminder. So I want to find out the numbers that add up to negative 3 and multiply to negative 108. So if I look, I go to y equals and I type in negative 108 divided by, ooh, you don't have to do negative 108, sorry. I just could do 108 divided by x. I'm going to do second graph, and I'm only going to look at the numbers larger than 0. The numbers that multiply to 108 are 1 and 108, 2 and 54, 3 and 36, 4 and 27, 6 and 18, 
9 and 12, and then 12 and 9. I have a repeat, so I'm not going to write that out. So I found all my factors of 108. Now what I do is I go to my diamond, and I want to multiply to negative 108 and add up to negative 3. If I go through all these pairs, I'm going to end up finding out that my 9 and 12 work. So I'm going to put my 9 in here and my 12 here. 9 times 12 is 108. I want a negative, so one of them has to be a negative. So I'm going to make my 9 negative. Negative 9 times 12, negative 108. That works. Negative 9 plus 12 is not negative 3. It's a positive 3. So now I'm going to make my 12 negative. 9 times negative 12 is negative 108. 9 plus negative 12 is negative 3. So my factors are x plus 9, x minus 12. Here's the issue. I took a 4 out in the very beginning, so I had to bring that 4 back in. So this is where the divide comes in, of slide divide. 9 over 4 doesn't reduce, so I just bring this 4 up with my x. So I have 4x plus 9. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so I have this as x minus 3. And if I look, that is choice 3. I also could have just done this question on the calculator. It says which product is equivalent to 4x squared minus 3x minus 27. So if you wanted to, you could have put this expression into y1. So I type in 4x squared minus 3x minus 27. Since I know my answer is choice 3, I'm just going to put in choice 3. I have 4x plus 9 times x minus 3. I'm going to hit second graph, and if I look, my tables of values are the same. So it has to be choice 3, because it's all going back to equivalent. If I wanted to, I could type in choice 4 to show you how it's wrong. So I have 4x minus 9 times x plus 3. Ooh, not 39, x plus 3. I'm going to hit second graph. And if you look, your table of values are not the same. They're not equivalent. So it has to be choice 3. So yeah, a bunch of ways to solve question number 10.